Hey guys, Jason coming at you again with another recent finds video. So first off, check that out. This is what I'll refer to as the Kramer hair. It's actually pretty impressive. It's longer than it looks. That's what I'm working with. I think there's some options. I could go flock of seagulls on that. You guys see where I'm going with this? Anyway, all right, now I try not to stare at that the rest of this. Recent finds, um, some purchases of new stuff, uh, some dollar finds. What else do we have in here? All kinds of goodies. It's a thicker stack of records, so I'm gonna try to move kind of quick. Up first is a couple new ones I picked up. This is Snarky Puppies, uh, Silva. This is Snarky Puppy and the Metropole Orchestra. Um, this still has a shrink on it. I have not taken it off yet. Let's see what we find together here. Gatefold. I listened to this one on Spotify. I think instrumentally, um, Snarky Puppy is as good as it gets. I was looking at some of their stuff, watching some of their YouTube videos of their live performances. This is on a really heavy vinyl um, on Impulse. But it is unreal musicianship. And they'll let a song develop for eight minutes if that's what the song needs. Or it can be a two minute, 30 second song. All the musicians really serve the song well. And so that's, that's what I really like about it. This is made in the Czech Republic. I got this one on Amazon. This was on sale for 15 or 16 bucks for two LPs, so that's great. Another great Amazon deal. Um, this was, oh man, I'm forgetting your name. You just did, you just helped me out on Amazon. I'm gonna put it in the comments because I feel bad. But there's a great video in the VC. Um, gosh, he's got a kid that collects records too, and Billy sent them like some ghost stories once and Frankenstein and all that. Anyway, I'll remember it here in a minute. But uh, he, he, there's a great video out on how to get great deals on Amazon through their warehouse deals. So I got this 21 Pilots Blurry Face 2 LP set, which normally goes for about 25 bucks for $11 factory sealed. Um, I'll just go ahead and put that video down below because it was just really great and just walks through how he does all that. Um, 2 LP set, kids, my kids love this uh, album. And this band is actually um columbus bass as a matter of fact a few years ago they played at a uh youth group lock-in at the church i work at um and it was unreal there was just not a whole lot of kids in the room but they were doing backflips and everything else and a few years later there they are doing grammys and you know accepting awards with no pants on so there's that um next one were some that i picked up for like two or three dollars um dealer had a bunch of them so chad mitchell trio um, some of these are blind buys. This is one of them. Actually, this is a Goodwill purchase on Mer Mercury. Chad Mitchell Trio. Um, Chad Mitchell, Mike Kobluck, and Joe Frazier. Not the boxer. Clearly. Up next, Hank Williams Jr., uh, Montana Cafe. Now, the um, one that I really like on this is My Name is Bocephus. Obviously, that's a real popular one, Hank Williams Jr. Um, I'm going to try to keep this moving for you. Steam, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. The uh, cover's kind of shot, but the record itself is in decent shape on Mercury. Uh, just needs to kind of glue back together. Stevie Nicks, another uh, Goodwill find. Uh, the Goodwill finds for 50 cents each. Um, did not have this one of hers. Staying with the Goodwill. Future Lies Ahead, this is Spoken Word, Mort Saul. Now, he was a uh, a bit of a crass comedian and probably a pioneer in that space. Man, that Kramer here is really going. I should just own it. Can we? All right, here we go. There, that's way better. All right, Future Lies Ahead, Mort Saul. Good little find. Uh, next couple were at Cindaloo's. Now, uh, I know sometimes people get into labels and certain collections, and I think I'm coming across one that I'm going to start collecting and looking for, and it's one that's able to, you were able to do on a budget, but I'm gonna be looking for anything on the command label. Where's it at? Command label, and a lot of them aren't that pricey. You know, you're under five bucks on these. So I have a couple of these, I'll show them together. The Doc Stiversons, um, Torch Song's Trumpet, and then which one is this? Uh, 
tempestu tempestuous trumpet the Doc Syverson Orchestra but Command Records is known for having a really high fidelity sound very well done older stuff I have the persuasive percussion maybe one other um, but I'm gonna be looking for these so if you have a bunch of doubles of these which you might I would be interested in buying those from you um, if you uh, if you're interested in letting them go up next another great find weather report I think I got this for one dollar on that sidewalk sale that I had mentioned before um, weather report mysterious traveler good find there then we have a couple a few Linda Ron stats this was a part of the box of free records that my friend gave me um, and then another Linda Ronstadt picture disc Yay! did you ever hear there was an interview with Steve Vai where he talked about auditioning for Frank Zappa and Frank Zappa was asking him like Zappa was asking him all these crazy questions alright play this song now play it with this timing signature now play it with that one and basically he kept leading him to a point where it got to where he could not physically play the part and that was the whole point and at the moment where Steve Vai said I can't play that that's when Frank Zappa said well, I think Linda Ronstadt's hiring a guitarist. <laughs> so he messed with him, and then later he's like, all right, you got the job. Uh, Barbara Streisand, what? You guys have never seen that one before. That was uh, part of the free batch, so it was this one. I think the next several are. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. I have a couple of these. Uh, this one's probably in better condition, though. This is a cool one on a label that I love. This is, I'm sorry, this lighting is just, let me fix this. Hold on just a second. All right, this is Coco Taylor from the heart of a woman. Uh, but this is on Alligator, which I just started watching a documentary. I haven't finished it yet, but um, I really like their stuff. I have a compilation of their Chicago blues. It's all Chicago blues stuff. Uh, if you guys know me, you know I love anything blues. I enjoy that guitar-driven stuff. Valensky, um, No Cause for Alarm. Uh... I mean, I don't even mind. No, I'm showing this. You guys have seen this before. Jesus Christ Superstar. Wildlife. Uh, is this self-titled? Yes. No. Yes. I don't have any of their stuff. So this is the first one of theirs I have. Any information you have on them would be interesting to me. Four and a four. Great record. Did not have it yet. First copy of that. And then following that up, one that I have a bunch of copies of. This might be the cleanest one, though. These are usually really chewed up. These got played a lot. I know they got a lot of radio airtime. Double vision. Um, here we go. 12 inch Herbie Hancock. Vibe Alive. Um, there was an extended dance mix on side A, edited version side B, and bonus beats after that. So. That's a cool, that's a cool cover. I like that. I'm digging that one. Um, ABBA, Greatest Hits of Volume 2, or as we would say where I grew up, ABBA. Uh, one that I got a great deal on for two bucks, uh, Dream Police. Love this song. Um, bands that cover it realize it's a challenge. It's not easy stuff. My son was enjoying this. Uh, I'd like to find some more cheap trick stuff. I know there's a lot out there, uh, so I'll pick up some more of them. Then on to some of my more uh, nerdy stuff that I like. Aldi Miola. Um, which one is this? Uh, Splendida Hotel. Great condition on this one. I may have overpaid a couple bucks, but again, I paid at my local record store, um, Cindaloo's, and they just have great stuff there, and so I love supporting them told you about that I record store day weekend they weren't doing any releases but I went there and bought some records just to show some support um, if I can open this put it back just a few more on this update oh my hair's coming down we gotta fix it, we gotta fix it. <laughs> that's better all right Richie Havens mixed bag um, this is really chewed up cover, and the copy's okay. VG probably, at best. You guys can't take me seriously right now, can you? All right. Greatest Hits, Marshall Tucker Band. Love Marshall Tucker Band. I love Southern Rock. 
Um, I don't actually have a lot of it for as much as I love, but I grew up, uh, so I think I shared with you, wasn't allowed to listen to anything that wasn't Christian music when I was younger, so then when I got my own car, I bought everything I could, and in my town, Leonard Skinner was a religion. Marshall Tucker Band would have been in there. I still think Can't You See is one of the best songs of all time. I, I do. I'm sorry. I'm putting it out there. And I know some of you are going to be like, that is the most basic. Sometimes that's all it needs. Think about it. Can't you see what that woman's doing to me? Come on. Marshall Tucker Band, once again, in the shrink. Um, this one is Searching for a Rainbow. Mamas and the Papas Deliver. Paid $2 for this. This is actually in really good shape. Um, really thick. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not by looking at that. Um, this has, this is dedicated to the one I love. It's a great song. Um, here's that. A couple more. Cat Stevens. <laughs> Cat Stevens. Uh, teaser and the Fire Cat. I did not have this one. Willie Nelson sings Christopherson. I'm a sucker for Willie Nelson. I'm a sucker for Chet Atkins. And I know there's so much that they've put out, so many dedications, and so-and-so does somebody else's music, but I just can't stay away from it. I like it. Um, sue me, all right? Up next, the monkeys. You may have heard of them. This young man named David Jones, I think he might have a career ahead of him. Another Richie Havens, 1983, $2, you see a lot of ring wear there. It's a cool record. I haven't seen this one out and about very often. Um, what is this guy on? On MGM, two LP set, $2. My dealer delivers. Uh, Goodwill Find, and then one more, two Goodwill Finds to finish up today. Uh, B-52, self-titled. This is in shrink. I think this is a first pressing. Um, I could be wrong, but based off of what I've seen, it is. Um, original, inner sleeve, and all that good stuff. I had a copy of this before I sold it. I get, you know how they get really dirty, so to see one that clean is kind of rare with that yellow. Um, most of them I've seen get really funky. And then finally, feeling groovy, Harper's Bazaar. That's good stuff. All right, that's what I got for now. I still have a lot more to show you. One last time, enjoy the Kramer hair. I wish I was like talented enough to just come walking in a room like Kramer, just come in screeching and be like, Hi, Jerry! But for those of you that don't know Seinfeld, that's going to be really weird. Um, all right, have a good one. Keep spinning. Bye.